Hi guys, today we have with us Kunal. Kunal, uh, today we want to talk about your story into uh, I am Sambalpur, your journey from Nagpur to I am and how you did in the CAT exam. Of course, we'll talk about the preparation time as well. But main focus is going to be how you uh, you claim <laughs> you claim okay to be the one of the most uh, participated the person who participated the most number of events. So how you find time for that? How important is the extracurricular activities? All these things. So that's all agenda we'll talk about. The first thing first is BCom hoke MBA karna. What was going in the mind? Or like because that, that's one of the main thing. Kare BCom karke ye kaise karenge? Wo kaise hoga? So what was going in your mind when you were preparing for the CAT ka exam? So basically, I did BBA actually. So okay. after BBA, I was working uh, nearly for uh, like when I was working, it came in mind ke like. इतने से सैलरी से तो नहीं बनेगा काम अपना जिंदगी तो नहीं चलने वाली तो इसीलिए एवरीबॉडी लाइक कि डू एमबीए एंड ऑल एंड इंटरेस्टिंगली एट द टाइम नो वन वाज देयर टू गाइड एंड ऑल सो जस्ट आई जस्ट फर्स्ट टाइम व्हेन फर्स्ट टाइम फर्स्ट ईयर व्हेन आई वाज वर्किंग आई जस्ट गिव सीईटी आई सॉ सम वीडियोस एंड जेबीआईएमएस लॉट ऑफ बर्ड्स महाराष्ट्र स्टूडेंट सो आई जस्ट गिव सीईटी एंड आई वाज सीइंग योर वीडियोस देन आल्सो आई टुक आई गेस अ ऑनलाइन मॉक टेस्ट the only mock test i purchased and i prepared from youtube only. so somehow i i was able to score 94 point something and after that i was like ki uh, okay uh, i want to go or not i was very confused ki jb to nahi milega jb is too far far fetched dream but uh, i was like very confused and at the time at the same time uh, me with my family made an accident so I, somehow in summer only we made an accident i was not able to like collect documents and all so i was not able to uh, any way it was not going to happen so then again i started my preparation and this time i was also again working so i actually purchased the course this time online cet ki ka ki i will uh, go with the videos and all because working it was very difficult to attain and i, I was handling a sales team so it was very hard so i purchased and i was preparing throughout the time and i never focused on cat to be honest only jb ki one one goal and I, I only cat whatever the ways to go jb cet cmat atma i was focusing on that but interestingly two years back uh, some uh, some fraud was happened ki some student went and then after that they actually next year they stopped taking atma and all score so my score was good in atma ct it was around 99 point something but uh, it was not enough to go to jb but mm-hmm. atma i was focusing ki, okay again i will go given may or something and then i will get it ki abhi i am getting 99.9 something so in the may to i will crack ki 100% or 99.99 i will get and go to jb but atma they didn't accept it only. so somehow uh, when i gave cat i got Uh, 10 12 amp call and i just for the sake of backup option i gave the gd to vat and pi ka interviews and uh, after that jb didn't happen and then somehow uh, baby i am start getting converted and then i end up in assembly super super so while you are preparing being a non engineer how did you strategize your yourself because i assume you are the same breed which have which is good in verbal and bad in maths or what was your strong area weak areas so uh, yeah like my, my strongest point was to lrdi uh, because i always focus on that and quant was like so i uh, left quant since 10th so after 10th i never had mathematics as subject 11 12th graduation never so it was so after 5 6 years touching that portion is a hell <laughs> so somehow i started but i was quite uh, like basic i used to do basic game was strong and calculation was strong so speed was also there ct ke do so that's how cat maybe i was confused ki uh, i will not clear quant ka cutoff because high end questions i will not be able to do and i cleared the cat ka cutoff at the very mathematics ka cutoff quant ka at a very boundary ki ekdam the section ka which is required i cleared that only so my game was basically on the lrdi as i was preparing for ct and majority of the part will be lrdi ka puzzles and all those and then verbal also i used to do practice so both were strong but yeah as you mentioned quant was so not my cup of tea right so one thing you mentioned non nicely that you have not been in touch with math for a long time so people yeah. come and say ki meko math aata nahi maine math koi padha nahi yaar ye mat bolo ki tumne padha nahi hai you don't remember we can agree on that ki yes we will been a long time you don't 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 remember you have not done it is a bad thing to say perfect so then I am Sambalpur happen. So, how was your journey at I am? So, you participate in a lot of intercollegiate events. So, number one, do you get time to do that much events? And number two, how much income it can come from that sources? 
so uh, again when i used to watch your videos i remember at that time you made a video uh, so this time to when you made a video the title changed but at that time it was like uh, you can actually uh, uh, get 50 to 70% of your mba fees through the uh, competitions because there so many competitions are happening and all so I, at that time i was like what a joke is this is, this is not going to happen even and it is not even possible but when i came to am sambalpur so there is a professor who taught us mm1 uh, marketing professor balan he was like uh, at that time actual competition was happening and it was a very new thing for us ki suddenly coming to the uh, college and then again because we started late as a batch our batch covid batch started a bit late because of the process and all so suddenly actual happened and we were not aware about nothing so professor bala actually helped us he actually told how thing works what is competitions why you should participate those thing he covered and then there was one of our senior who actually cleared few competition so he came to guide us also he was a, just a second year student but uh, he was one of the good student so he came to guide us also ki how you should approach and all honestly speaking coming to the time actually it's a basically i feel it's a trade off either either you can focus on academics the you want to be a great scholar student then focus on academics but at the same time if you think it's not so i was clear ki i'm not going to top or i'm not going to come in top 5 or top 10 so why to even rush for that i will get a decent percentage anyhow and i will focus on uh, competitions to get those distinct factor in the reason ki something differentiating i am having so then i started participating academics uh, honestly i bit trade off was there so i did that and at the same time uh, it was managed it was in, initially it was very difficult to because it everywhere you will participate it's a team game so you want a team and in online medium initially call, we, we never met any student so it was very difficult to connect to people and working with them so somehow forming a team was the biggest concern ki you will not get people again different you will only be uh, you will only aware about the people who are in your section it's very difficult to know people from the other section so and that's how we somehow started you are like initially when i started participating i was participating with different 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 students many students when i feel ki okay this one person is right then two people and then adding one person differently then when a, a team form after that we were constant i remember i win my first uh, competition after i guess 15 for 15 participants something so and most interestingly d2c pe first round will happen to quiz and all is so easy it's just a 30 minutes a game you just have to give quiz but once you get selected for the next round it will be a hell because then it will have a case or it will have a real life problem to solve and then lot of research thinking lot of meetings will happen inside a team so that takes major majority of the time super true so from a income point of view if for of course you participate in more events on average what do you think a person person can earn uh, of course not to earn money per per se but yeah there is always a back of the mind the point ke if i can recover my fees if at least some kind help can be taken so that way so even if you win a competition in a month and even if you not like a big uh, uh, corporate competition or something like i am telling for average student even for us ke uh, there are competition which corporate organize like actual will organize or then uh, vip organizer many uh, people will organize and they will have a huge prize money lakhs me 2 lakhs 3 lakhs 4 lakhs for winning team and obviously it will get three people are in the team 5 lakhs divided in the team but every in the mba journey will find every college is organizing nearly like every month they will have some competitions and that competition on an average will uh, have a prize money of 15000 20000 30000 even if you find some good one and focus on 30000 i will say even if you want win one 30000 three people 10000 a month you can easily have your expense simply is telling so that you can do person can do if is interested yeah, yeah. E- even if you don't put much of efforts on m- many things obviously cracking actual or packing uh, any corporate competition lot of participation will be there from whole india everyone will participate so it's a huge game and a lot of efforts and everything is required but at the same time you get rewarded accordingly at the same time if you are participating okay i am participating from i am amdavat for competition there will be 1000 2000 teams competing with them and winning is bit easy but at the same time reward is accordingly right super okay now come to the another point that what is the benefit of participating into events or winning or just participating with respect to the placement with respect to the placement first thing is obviously if there are 10 students and you are the one who have won competitions so you will have a like every you will have everyone will have a eye for extra curricular extra curricular ki this guy is actually solving real life problems and he is winning so it means jury or the companies are liking him so he is actually giving solution which 
is appropriate and which is can be followed by the companies also so his brain is work, like whatever he is learning he is able to use the concept that also prospect you see also from students point of view whatever learning happens in the cl- classroom you actually use that in the scenario so you get to understand how it is used how you do research how you follow particular procedure all these things frameworks and all frameworks you learn but how to use them and apply you will get to learn this here also when the co- basically what happens in many consulting interviews or even marketing interviews there will always be a case questions so they will give you a particular question and they will ask see how you approach it and there the game comes ki after doing so many competitions you will be able to tell ki what should be the process you are following or how should you approach so those things will help you right right and uh, uh... Okay. Uh, now, would you mind t- telling us where you got the job and all these things? Because I want to know: Do do is there direct correlation between your participations and you getting a job? So, uh, like, uh, I of course, if this is not allowed, then you don't uh, disclose a n- number. You can give us an average number. Yeah. So, uh, if recently I am Samalpur uh, released the hundred percent placement record. So, accordingly, if you can manage and see, so uh, I am. Uh, you can assume that I am currently. Uh, comes in the bracket of top 10 to 15% student in the highest placement who got super so and you 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 can safely say ki yes there was a a part of that was because the inter college events as well yeah i can say that and uh, for mbas it's a dream when everyone starts ki uh, the salary should be in six figures so yeah my salary comes in six figures super <laughs> monthly you know super that's important yeah that's important so and how uh, seating helped in this <laughs> journey so to be honest a uh, <laughs> very great incident when uh, two years when i was in last year of bba and that time i was not preparing for cat and all but there were students who were preparing and one of my roommate one evening he came and he was very upset but it was just uh, jan or feb i think uh, towards october november cat was supposed to happen in a month or something and he came and he was very upset and i saw him very down so i was like what happened bro and he's like uh, bro uh, exam hai but ho nahi raha yaar so and i directly told him he's a bba student same night like me ki after 10th he didn't have a hand mat bro apne liye nahi hai bhai ye kya hai bhai i am sure he iit or nit wale ka kaam hai engineers hai apne liye kaam ka nahi hai apne bas ka nahi and i actually directly demotivated him and today living the same journey with guidance or everything it feels very bad that that day i did this his name was ibran uh, i'm sorry ibran if you watch this even so i remember <laughs> and i actually said this and after that uh, he didn't crack or whatever he was trying but uh, when i came in the picture i was also having no knowledge nothing and when i just opened youtube i searched few videos and then i saw okay see it ticking and then i started watching videos uh, from cet i was preparing for cet so i started watching video and from there i started getting information everything ki how should you approach how many mocks every small small details i remember every day it was a routine ki okay ek morning mein video aata tha wo aur 10 pm mein aata tha it was a routine sort of thing ki okay wo dekhna hi hai apne ko so it was very fixed so even i'm traveling or going to job or office mein break mein chalte rehta tha baaki to preparation on all say taking the mocks and everything was there but yeah it happened and i'm grateful to see taking also <laughs> superb superb thank you yaar thank you very much for coming and talking to us it is very motivating and so hopefully you do well in the coming up kabhi aapka kuch aaya kya joining jhune ke bare mein kuch aaya kya abhi tak nahi aaya hoga na nahi i got i have joining from fifth tak you got it on it okay yeah, so quick yaar that's quick kyunki kafi log ko to abhi tak joining ka wo bhi nahi aaya letter bhi nahi aaya kuch confirmation bhi nahi aaya ki job laga ke laga on paper hai hi nahi kuch unke paas so kya hota wo time lagta usko aane mein हाँ लाइक एवरी कंपनी फॉलोज डिफरेंट प्रोसेस फॉर अकॉर्डिंग चल यार ओके देन बाय 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 थैंक यू थैंक यू